This is home and this is my home. Welcome back to the kitchen. I want to talk to you about what's happening in Conway. The combination of the pandemic and the outrage over racial injustice have combined to produce a new movement in that city of coming together. THP 11's Jordan Howington shows us how the numbers of Black-owned businesses in Conway have soared. We've been operating, this is week five now. Artie Lovelace owns Spud Love Food Truck, just one of at least six new minority-owned businesses in Conway that have opened its doors during our country's most recent fight for racial equality. I never thought that I would <laughs> that I would be doing what I'm doing in all honesty. His love for the community and food collided during this time of division with hopes his business sparks unity. When you have so much going on in the world, when people can enjoy good food. Um, it, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, who it comes from, where it comes from. At just 14 years old, Conway's Aiden Esslinger is doing the same. He has his own production business, writing and directing stage plays. He's using his platform to reach the younger generation to fight for diversity. To not be afraid to be the only African-American, you know, actor in a show, not to be the, be afraid to be the only African-American business owner, you know, just go and put myself in those situations to try to help make um, environments more diverse. Business owners, young and old, say they are proud of their city for moving forward, but both agree the fight for racial equality can't stop here and the momentum must go on. We have to keep going, keep making sure that our voices are heard. In Conway, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. And other minority-owned businesses include restaurants, food trucks, and an on-demand local delivery service. 